on. Okay, so I need to put this up just a little bit. Like, hear me out for a second. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. My battery's probably gonna die too. Okay, so couldn't be bothered to set up my whole lighting system today. So just using my vlogging camera and natural lighting so it's not going to look the best, okay? I apologize in advance. First thing I wanna do before I jump into this video is I wanna say a big thank you to everyone that watched my last video, Dear Black Woman. If you haven't checked it out, it's either gonna be here somewhere, because I haven't figured out how to do that yet, or it's gonna be down in the description box below. Um, and we'll talk more about that in my vlog. Today's video is a video that I haven't really seen a lot of on YouTube. And I wanted to do this video because um, these are some of my favorite bags. So I wanna talk to you guys about my favorite bags from Madewell. So let's go. It's like my phone case, it's so cute. I got it from Amazon and I will send you the link uh put the link down below all right so first things first okay i love madewell so i discovered madewell when i was living in kentucky and i discovered it through my friend lindsay we both lived in the same apartment complex we had a lot of the same classes together we th i think we took the same degree we both got a degree in pr so one of the very very few people that i spoke to in kentucky separate and aside from sabrina nezreen lindsay was actually really sweet to me so there's like three people so she introduced me to Madewell. I'd never been there before. And she was like, one day she called me. She was like, let's go to the mall. I went to Madewell and I fell in love. When you just go into Madewell, it's kind of hard to really, you're looking around and you're like, well, what is this? This is kind of super basic. But the more you get to understand their pieces and how you can mix and match them, you fall in love. So I want to show you guys three of my favorite bags from Madewell, hopefully you, it will inspire you guys to get bags of your own. Um, I actually own five Madewell bags, but I only use three of them on rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. The first one I'm gonna start with is the very first Madewell bag I ever purchased. I don't remember what this one is called. I use this as a work bag, it's a backpack. It does have my initials hot stamped right here has like a little top handle this is not a good image of it i know i probably should have stuffed it but i'm gonna use some images or whatever so this is it and the leather just it's just amazing it does age really well over time the straps aren't too long and they're not too short and they are adjustable it doesn't have the hole or anything but it's super adjustable you cannot fit a laptop in here um you can put an ipad in here but i use this really comfortably for work and i would just carry my laptop in my hand now that i carry a laptop um usually depending on where i'm working it'll be like a stationary desktop or whatever but i love this one because it's like it keeps your hands free and i love that having my hands free especially sometimes after work like i want to go chill out with friends or we want to go do stuff and it's just easy to have my hands like completely free so this was my very first backpack from them i don't remember how much it cost it wasn't on the website for a very long time i've had this for four years and it just looks like I just bought it yesterday. When you talk about just amazing quality leather, you're talking about Madewell and the price is amazing, right? It's not high end, it's not luxury, but it is really good quality and it's like in that middle range price bracket that I think is super affordable and great for investing in if you want more bag for your buck and you want a bag that's gonna last you for the rest of your life. So this is my first one love it the next one i got is the saddle bag i carry this currently to work it's the large saddle bag and i love this bag so 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 much what i love about this tote is i'm not like a fan of tote and i do have the madewell traditional tote that this bag is actually called the sydney tote and i don't know why i keep calling it the saddle bag but throughout this video you will hear me calling it the saddle bag i apologize it's the sydney tote okay <laughs> sorry everybody has I don't like it. I'm not a tote girl. I realize it's just, it's an awkward look on me and so I don't really love it. What I love about this saddle, I think it's called a saddle. If I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. I'll put the name on the screen. Is you can take these two sides and push them in and make the bag a little bit more narrow. Right now, what I have in here, it does come with a long strap, right? Which I use 
every now and again but it does like and i'll stand up and i'll show you guys actually i'll show you what all of them look like um we're back to sitting down my battery is dying so um yeah so i absolutely really really like this right now what i have in here is like everything my work laptop my computer uh, my notebook i've got lotion i've got straws i've got like a little pouch with like female necessities i can fit everything in here i've got my glasses in here my computer glasses that i use um they are special prescription computer glasses from warby parker obviously the prescription is not from warby parker but the glasses are and i just absolutely love it i just have this little thing tied here i tend to do that to a lot of my bags just to let like let them not look so boring highly recommend this bag i love this saddle collection that madewell has going on i think it's my favorite collection from them and they have three different sizes and i own two of them this is the large size and i'm going to show you guys the mini i think it's called the mini i just got this as a christmas present from my co-worker so initially i wanted this in the deep green but i just felt like over time it would have been better to get a color that i felt like i wouldn't have gotten tired of didn't want another black one. This is like, I'm obsessed with this. I low-key also want to get the Marc Jacobs mini tote, um, which is kind of similar in size, but this is more of like a that shape. This fits so much. When I say so much, I mean so much fits in here. It does come with a longer strap so you can crossbody it. Or if you want to, you can switch out the chains. I will put some links down below. Amazon has like great options and Etsy has really good options for like chains that you can put on it to glam up your bag, dress it up or dress it down. I am really obsessed with bags that have detachable straps because I like to interchange my bags, add and remove straps and all of that good stuff. So, um, yeah, like this has like all my necessities in every bag. I have a pouch with like female stuff in here. This is a smaller mini one, but I have that in here. I also have my car keys and on my car keys, I have an Apple Air tag. I have these scattered as well in a few of my bags, um, hidden in little compartments. You never know, so I just kind of have them hidden in there. I have this, I just got this as a Christmas gift to myself. It is the YSL card holder. I've been thinking about getting it for a while. I do not regret purchasing it. This is like super cute. This was $300 on the dot or maybe one cent over, but I just top it off at 300. I've got lotion in here. I've got lipstick, lip gloss. This is the Dior lip volumizer, which I absolutely love. And I've been using this underneath, which is the YSL, their Rouge series. You know, that kind of lip glossy bomb type of thing they have. I don't really like the consistency of these. I'm going to be honest. The packaging is really cute. The quality of the product is trash, but um, I put it underneath and then I put like a plumper on top so it, it's better. It doesn't go on well. It doesn't deliver properly. Um, sanitizer. I have a mirror. I have these moon wipes. Like if I go out and I drink red wine, it wipes my teeth. I have a nutrition bar in here because, well, yeah, I've got my car insurance papers in here. I have my mini pochette that I got in uh i don't remember when i got this i don't know if it was 2019 december or 2020 december it was 2019 december because 2020 i was in the hospital so i absolutely love it this is the one with the little i don't remember but in here i just keep i keep this in here i have cash in here and right now i have a lot of coins in here and receipts that i need to uh get rid of so this fits in here and we're not done i have advil i have a pen I've got tissue, I've got more of those things for your teeth. I don't even drink and I have so much of that stuff. I have paper towels because you should always have a paper towel in your bag just in case. And that's everything that fits in there. And also my vlogging camera does fit in there and myself. So those are my favorite bags from Madewell. If you are considering buying a bag from Madewell, I highly recommend it. I've had my bags for years. They really do hold up and they age really, really, really well. So if you're not into 100% leather bags, and obviously this is not for you, but I love them. I absolutely, this is like my new favorite. I bring it everywhere now. So some of you guys liked this video. What bags are you currently liking? And are you a Madewell, like do you have Madewell bags that you like? Would you recommend any to me? Because 
I really do like their bags. They've got like the small, they have like a super small um, one from the tote, like the little, it's like this. And I was thinking about that one, but went with this one instead. So I'd love to know if anybody has that option and if they love it. I will see you in my next video. This video is supposed to be short and sweet. Links for all the items mentioned will be linked down below. 